long before the month of December arrives. The holiday elves are hard at work at this home on Ocean Road in Portsmouth. Oh, we gotta flush it, make it flush. Bring this over here. These neighborhood volunteers are part of a long time holiday tradition. This thing is pretty big as you see something going behind us now. Um, it's quite large. They're helping to assemble this holiday display, built from scratch and so large, it takes a team to build. Oh, it's huge, huge. We started, um, I think it was in September, and we get together every other, every other Sunday. We work from 10 to 2. Nobody's messing up, huh? And the man behind the plan? This is the front, facing the street. The man who started this tradition decades ago is Al Bailey. 36. This is my 36th year. Al is a retired military man who works in human resources, but his background is in art. He first used that skill for a holiday display while living in Maine. It was November 1986. That was the day that I moved into my brand new house in South Berwick, Maine. His sons built these life-size nutcrackers for the house, and it was a hit. When they added a massive Santa on the roof the next year, it was even bigger. There were people that were driving up both sides of the street, and it was stop and go traffic. I didn't see it coming. A tradition was born. My boys and I thought, what if, what if we changed it every year and made it a surprise? Don't tell people what we were going to do. That was a hit. So Al, his family, and neighbors started going even bigger. At least one thing had to be big. And when I mean big, I mean taller than 10 feet. Only we got stupid. We would make three things bigger than 10 feet. Over the years, Al moved to different states, but kept the tradition going and the crowds coming, including when he moved to Portsmouth. The first Christmas we were here, we put out 68 minions. They were walking up the sidewalk, walking up the walkway, walking up our front door. It's in the month of July, Al starts building the ideas he's sketched out, turning his backyard into an outdoor workshop. He feels very passionate, and I guess that's a good word for him. He's very passionate about, I think, probably anything he does. He just takes it on with gusto. Come fall, his volunteers jump in on scheduled Sundays. Well, a paint party is we all get together, um, and we help our friend Al paint all of these wood structures that he puts up for Christmas decorations. This year's theme, traveling from Boston through New Hampshire to Maine, with some classic characters sprinkled in. Recognize the Zakem Bridge or the 95 Bridge in Portsmouth? A lot of work, yes, but for the volunteers, it's a chance to catch up. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. It was great to meet all the neighbors that we've never really known until Al started inviting everybody in to do this on Sundays. And some volunteers brought their kids to see the display years ago and are now part of the tradition, like Aaron Morse. It actually goes over 30 years ago that Al and I lived in the same neighborhood up in South Berwick. And my daughter, who was about four years old at the time, is we brought her to see his display. But all good things must come to an end. Al Bailey is making 2022 his last season. He needs the break, but it won't be easy for his loyal following. I can't believe this is going to be the last year, and it's, it's going to be missed. I'll tell you that. It's really going to be missed. On the night of December 10th, 2022, the Baileys lit up their final display. One more year of wowing families who make the trip here to see what the Baileys have cooked up. You drive down the road, it puts a smile on your face no matter what you're doing. People have stopped, people are beeping, people are taking photos. 
Ocean Road right here becomes a little chaotic around Christmas time um, because everybody wants to come see what Al has done. While it will be the last, this wonderful tradition will live on in memories from a guy who just wanted to spread some joy in a big, big way. I never asked for anything. My family never asked for anything, and we just did it out of the kindness of our hearts. I know that sounds corny, but that's the only reason we did it. I think he's a big kid at heart, and he likes Christmas, and this is his way of sort of sharing that with everybody.